So how do we create this 3D perspective text effect? Once you have your text composition, your first thought could be to use the pitch and jaw effects right here that you have. And while that can work, what this does, it, it stretches your text a little bit like that. Now, if you're going for that effect, use this setting right here from the edit page. That works as well. All you have to do is create those two keyframes in your set. Right. But in this case, what we can do is we're going to go to the effects tab and you can use the DVE effect or you can use the 3D rise tool that I developed if you have it as well. Both of them work pretty much the same way. The only thing with the DVE is that it has a few other things by default. So choose whichever you like best. Here we need to also turn off the border and we're also going to have to turn off the drop shadow. So make this zero and then make this zero. Now we don't have any drop shadow. So what we want to do is use the rotation Y effect right here. So to make these work in any type of case or scenario, if you want to save this as a preset, what you can do is right click, go to modify with and then click add in curves. Now we're going to open this infusion, selecting the DVE, we're going to go to modifiers. Now go to frame zero and we're going to set up the starting point here by changing the offset. So let's say we want to start at minus 35 or negative 35. As you can see here, it doesn't get as distorted as if we were using that pitch and jaw effect that we had in the edit page. And then here for the scale, we need to set this up to be at least 35. If we set this to 35 at the end, this will end up flat. If that is your goal, then you could just do that. But if we want to double these or make these go all the way to the other side, just do that same amount, but times two. Now we have that perspective moving. If you want to add an extra touch, open the spline tool and here you can use the ease in and out curve to just modify these a little bit further if you want to add these or make these have a little bit of a special touch if you want to have a minimalistic animation or fade in mixed with these just add a simple fade in and then that text effect works if you have something that is like pre-animated like the text effects for example that has this animation that comes in and out already the process is pretty much the same all you need to do is if you have these saved as a preset or on another text Copy these, pressing Ctrl C. Now you want to select those three elements or whatever text you used for your composition. Press Alt V and now you paste this fusion effect. What this does is that it adds the same perspective effect to those texts. Now you don't have to use this only on texts. You can actually use this same thing on an image or any type of element that you want. That's it for this video. Bye bye.